Cheers to your first year of school. So Miss Lila, you were on round two of Princess Camp this summer. <laughs> you just turned four and last night you told me that you're gonna tell Elsa that you love to watch her on TV. And just now when I dropped you off, you're all dressed up in your Elsa princess dress with your little Elsa braid in your hair. As we were standing in line, you whispered up at me, where's Anna? But when I sat you down, you wanted to sit at the table where Elsa was already sitting. And you're now, I'm pretty sure, coloring a picture of Ariel and sitting with a bunch of other little girls dressed up as Elsa. And it's just so cute. It's just all so cute and this is so fleeting and I just know that these days are going to be gone like this. So I just, I want to remember this and I want you to remember it. Well, you're not going to remember it, but I want you to know about it. <laughs> But I went to therapy today and your Nana came and played with you and you had a great day with your Nana. You drove around in your little purple Jeep that they got you for your birthday this past summer. And she said that you guys played shoots and ladders and you came up with your own rules. <laughs> you had chicken nuggets for breakfast and chicken nuggets for lunch. And then you asked for more chicken nuggets. And I'm not kidding when I say you're gonna turn into a freaking chicken nugget. We got a key light in this dry and we can start on nails. What's up with this? Okay, so we got a nail file. I um, did it for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm waiting here at myself. Hi, I'm Lila. Who's your name? You're Lila too? I never started when you and then you was Lila. Like, why? Okay. Like this? Like okay. that. Why do you have face back on, guys? Because we're having a spa day because Lila's feeling a little sick. Yeah. And why are you there? Why are you in there? My, my family's in there. My family's in there. Why? How did we get inside of there? Get us out. Someone get us out of here. How? Us are here. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, Lila. So do you want nails like how Mommy had before they all chipped away? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I rub that in, and then we'll take the roller. Good. Hydrating mist. I do some on you. Yep. <laughs> Get dried. Fresh it. I did a great job. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I didn't even blink you in the when I was closing my eyes. The world is yours. Strike them with your glow. It's not my birthday, it's your birthday. But you brought me a cicada. Thank you so much. Is it alive? Is it alive? Thank you. Thank you for the cicada. Do you mind if I bring it outside? Mail, but it's not our birthday, it's yours. <laughs> birthday. I didn't know you got a cicada. Get a mango, get um, the cicada. Get your cicada. <laughs> that was really cute. I got him to play with it. 
Oh, banana, right here. Oh, what is that? It's his birthday bowl. Ready? Let's sing then. Happy birthday oh, to you. Oh, I forgot my candle on it. We don't want it lit by his whiskers. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday dear banana. Are you one? Are you two? two. Are, are you three? three? Are, are you four? four? Are, are you five? five? Are you six? You're five! What do you think he wished for? I don't know. Happy birthday! We love you so much! Happy birthday! We love you! Enjoy <laughs> your food! I took the candle out because I needed to. Thank you. That helps him eat it. Anna's almost done his birthday dinner. Yeah. And then after I want to put the bowl in this thing. Thank you. Right now I'm in my closet and a week ago you could not even walk in here. Most of these racks were completely empty and these baskets here and there's more there were just filled with clothes overflowing onto the floor. Like I said, you could not even take a step foot and I just had enough. And I don't know what it is. I talked about it in therapy and maybe he was talking about it. It's a good thing, I guess, because now I can walk in my closet. I can see all my clothes. Everything's hung out, hung up. Everything's organized. Like if you open up these drawers, I know where everything is. It's all folded and perfect. Tons of clothes that I'm giving away, which is huge progress. Like even this dresser. Yeah, my nightgowns here. This whole drawer right here I think I'm the most proud of because it has all my matching sets and let's just say for the past like several years and I'm not exaggerating there none of these sat sets had a matching pair. They were lost in baskets. Hi Sherby and I think it even bothered my cats because like they couldn't come in here and now that this whole couch has been cleared off of clothes too they've been sleeping on it. Really struggled with my clothes and putting things away and have had really bad mental health and low motivation and I always felt like I couldn't accomplish other things until I got this done though but I was like when am I ever going to get this done it's so much going to take weeks but I spent two to three days it really wasn't much just buckling down and going basket after basket after basket and Lila helped me she loves helping me with this kind of stuff and I think I cracked a code. I don't know if it's good or bad, but like, because we didn't keep up with this chore, it was kind of like a new, fun, exciting thing for her to help fold and hang things up and put them away. And she had so much fun. She wanted to keep going with me the past several days. And like, when she chose it over playing and I kept saying, let's take a break, let's play. And she just hopped right back into the baskets and picking things out that were hers that she hasn't seen in like a year. And like I said, I'm not exaggerating there. It's been several several years now of living out out of baskets this is the best my closet has ever looked i even have an empty drawer here that i can put anything in like what am i gonna put in there i don't know i'm just overall very proud leggings yoga pants biker shorts i even have a place for all my extra hangers a place for my purses and i just wanted to show how i color code everything color coordinate red orange yellow green blue purple and then i get into the browns and the blacks but it's all color corded co corded color coded shorts tank tops t-shirts and just look at that like it looks satisfying and it's easy to find your clothes long pants that need hung up some of these i do still need to go through and i'll probably find even more stuff to give away i hoard clothing like I have memories attached to these I know you're not supposed to keep sizes that are too small but like I keep them anyways because my weight fluctuates and I never expect to lose weight and fit into smalls again but then it happens and I'm like I need clothes and then I same goes for like larges I have in my closet it's from smalls to larges like everywhere and I'm not like holding on to them with the intention of losing weight either like making that clear right there i eat my food and if for whatever reason i lose weight for whatever reason like diet changes lifestyle changes stress anything could hit me illness well i got clothes 
Anyways, <laughs> these are all my long sleeves. It's all of Lila's keepsakes that I'm keeping forever, like newborn clothes. And if I ever decide to have another baby again and they happen to be a girl, well, I have some gems in there that they can wear. Yeah, I'm just proud. Everything in here is, again, like pullovers, sweatpants that are too small. But like, I just hold on to them because I like them a lot. And if I ever happen to reach that size again, I want to just not have to buy more clothes. This is Lila's closet. And I also organized all her stuff. Some of those giveaways were things that I'm going to be giving away of hers. Um, it's not color coded. It's not like organized in that way. So I'm thinking I might do that. And then same goes for all this. It looks messy. I want to organize it better. Everything's in its right section. It just needs like folded better. And then these things I need to go through. Those are last year's dance leotards. Pajamas in here, stuff like that. And you're like, whoa, she still has this crib that is clean. I changed it last night. It's just stained that color. It was like a crib trans transformed into a toddler bed. And now that she's four, she's becoming a big girl. And I have in my Amazon cart a twin-sized big girl bed. Got her eyes on a pink one that was in my wish list for her and she wants the pink one. And this whole room is gonna look a little bit different. I got like a whole bunch of like big girl room accessories and decor and I'm just gonna like vamp up her room a little bit now that she's gonna be a big girl. Um, my washer's currently broken. So it is not draining, the motor is out, the pump's out, I don't know. So of course I accomplished all of this closet stuff and then a hurdle had to happen. I was telling my therapist how I've just like accepted that at this point in my life or just at any point in life, if you accomplish something, there's going to be hurdles along the way and it's just something you got to accept and like, it's just life. It's annoying. It's like, why can't things just go good and smooth? I don't know why. I don't know why. Like, why is it constant lessons after lessons? Like I've learned enough. So those are just my little house closet updates. Go on now. Wave. Be good. <laughs> Be fine. Turn Maybe around and wave. Dream big, don't forget to be kind. Live, it's your life. Rocks are meant to be picked up and thrown. So, I just dropped Lila off on her first ever day of school. It's a bittersweet feeling. Seeing her with her little book bag on, she picked out a Rapunzel dress. She has her hair in a high pony, and she calls it her little butthole pony. <laughs> I don't know why. I drew a little heart on her hand, and she drew a heart on mine, and I told her to poke it if she misses us. And um, we were all saying our byes and everything, and she was tearing up. I just feel like there should be a less traumatizing way to do it. Like, let's just drop off our kid and bye, pick you up later. All right, well, I just got great news. When I dropped her off, she was having a hard time. One of her teachers took her with the littles, so the kids that are even smaller than her, and was like, you can help me with the littles and stuff like that. And um, she just messaged me saying that, good news, Lila's already left her side and has gone to her class. So that's great. When I dropped her off, there were three little girls, or two little girls already sitting there, so Lila was the third and oh, so cute she's gonna make friends with other little four-year-olds and i'm so excited and they said they're, they're gonna go camping today they have tents set up in the classrooms and that they're gonna make their own binoculars and i just hope that she has the best day ever i can't believe it baby i love you so much i can't believe you're growing up this is happening faster than i can catch up this snuck up on me like i feel like you were just in my belly yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for getting emotional, but I feel like I just brought you home from the hospital yesterday. And I don't understand, but it's okay. You're going to do great. You're going to flourish. You're going to change the world. You already have. And I love you so much. I love you. Here's to your first year of school and your four-year-old class. Little Rapunzel. I love you. can be pleasantly overgrown But you know where to go if you follow that heart
They say dream on me. Please. Are you gonna dream on here? Yeah, I'm gonna dream. How do you feel about your big girl bed? Good. 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 One, and then I was in my dream, and then baby legs, and then baby arms, and then I was a big girl, and then I was. Like your teacher? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to do in school? Take magnets. Magnets? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're fun. Oh. All right, y'all ready for school, little Elsa? Oh, this, this is so long. I can't get this thing. Need help? I probably shouldn't put this on next time. Do you want to wear something else? No. Okay. Oh. 